Ya, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon students. Afternoon, good madam. Student. Ya, good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. Ya, good afternoon. Okay, um, for today's class, huh? okay, because we are a bit five minutes late, huh? okay. So, uh, for today's class, I will continue with um, our topic, uh, Trade Union in Malaysia, okay. So, um, during the last uh, class, I already introduced to you um, why workmen uh, want to join trade union. Okay, so there's few reasons where the um, employee or workmen, because the act that we will be referring um, for, I mean, for certain provisions uh, are from the Industrial Relation Act and also the um, trade union act. Eh? Okay, so the word that we are going to use is worker. Eh? Okay, so the worker wants to join trade union for certain reasons. So uh, there are here three reasons. Eh? Okay, to ensure the rights are protected. That means you'll get a better terms and condition. So in next topic, I will introduce like collective agreement, eh? the bargaining and the agreement. You can compare uh, the terms in the collective agreement and in the employment act. Eh? Okay. So when they have uh, their right protected, eh, it will improve their economic situation. That means they will get um, better pay and also other benefits. Eh? Okay. And when they have a trade union, that means they will have the leader there. Okay. The leader is the one who will protect them. Eh? Okay. And also if there's uh, any dispute eh, between the employer and the employee, okay, the trade union can refer the matter to the uh, industry court. Eh? Okay. So there's a few uh, reasons here, okay. And then the right to uh, form a trade union has been stated in Section 5, uh, ABC, and, the, and at the same time, the workers also have the right not to join a trade union. Uh, okay, so you cannot uh, force any employee or workman to join trade union. Okay, so what is the definition of trade union has been stated in the Trade Union Act. Yeah? So you know now that you have to refer to a few um, statutes, yeah? Employment Act and then Industrial Relations Act and also the Trade Union Act. Yeah? Okay, and every trade union yeah, must have objective which has been set in the Trade Union Act. Yeah? Okay, you must know that the, the objective has been set in the Trade Union Act. Eh? It's not that something that you want to give reason why, eh? like uh, why the employee want to join the trade union, eh? okay? But this is where it is stated in the um, Trade Union Act, eh? okay? So when you have the Act, you will um, you can refer, okay, to know more uh, the other provision related to trade union, okay? So here are some reasons why uh, I mean the objective of the trade union. Okay, so um, all trade union need to be registered. Eh? Okay, that means uh, the law under section 8 gives the um, trade union one month to, uh, to register after the trade union has been formed. Eh? If they do not register, that means they are not lawful trade union. Eh? That means they cannot enjoy the rights eh, as a trade union in Malaysia. Okay. Then every trade union which has been registered need to apply for recognition for a trade union. Okay. That means the employer now, okay, have to recognize the trade union. Okay. So the registration is at the um, trade union um, department. Okay. But the recognition uh, is from the Employer that means the uh, their own employer need to give consent or we can say that must recognize uh, the existence of a trade union at the workplace. Uh. So the procedure is in section nine of the trade union act. Okay, so you, you can go uh, um, to section nine one uh, to look at what are the procedures uh, there. Okay, so they make an application and the employer have to. Um, give recognition if you refuse then the matter will be referred to the director general okay um, so uh, this is the condition for registration eh? okay section 10 subsection 1 and 2 okay and what are the things that you have to 
um, uh, enclosed uh, for registration. Okay, then um, there are situation where the director general can refuse under section twelve, subsection three. Yeah? Okay, so I already finished all these. Uh, okay, and the trade union also after registration it can be also cancelled. Uh, okay, you cancel the certificate. Uh, okay, of the trade union. Okay, but for this you have to apply. Okay, the trade union can apply. Okay, or um, the director general of the trade union can also withdraw the certificate. Okay, he can withdraw or cancel the certificate uh, if there's a reason here. He got reason. Okay, the reason here is stated in the same section. Eh? Okay, you can see it is in the section. 15, eh? Subsection A is where the trade union uh, themselves want to dissolve or want to cancel the certificate. But B is when the director wants to take his own action. Okay, so there's a two different uh, subsection there. Okay, so he can also um, deregister, okay, if he's satisfied. Eh? Okay, um, any of the reason here. Okay, so we, um, okay, then the effect of deregistration, so the, uh, the union does not exist, that means they have no right to do anything, eh? okay, so you can look at section 19 here, okay, then uh, membership, okay, I think we stop here, okay, so who can be the member of the trade union? Okay, so of course they must be an employee. Okay, they must be an employee and they must be in the contract of service. Eh? Okay, so um, the act eh, okay, says that who is prohibited from joining um, as a member of the trade union. Okay, so um, here, okay. Um, if this um, employee who is below 16, they are not allowed, they must be a citizen because non-citizen is not uh, allowed here, okay? Uh, I think for this, there will be amendment soon, okay? So any student, um, unless they are employed as a bona fide employee, okay? Or, uh, and also above 18, that means uh, students uh, um, at the university, also can be a um, member of the trade union if they are employed, okay? That means they are, um, they are doing like part-time job, eh? but they are employed. Eh? Uh, sorry, they are doing part-time studies, okay? And they are employed somewhere else. They can also be a member of the trade union, okay? And they are not engaged in any of the other trade union, okay? Um, that means their first time being a member, then they are not a public officer, okay? If you are working at a public department, okay, you um, cannot, okay, um, be a member, okay? And there's a provision here. Sorry, yeah. Um, okay, so th there's uh, some exception for this, huh? Any public officer other than uh, which has been stated uh, in section 27. Uh, okay, so we can refer to section 27. Okay, then uh, here, the members here, okay, um, if they want to be the executive member or the trustee of the trade union, they must be above 21 years old. Okay. Then uh, members, even though they can be a member uh, when they achieve the age of 16, okay, but if they are below 18, they cannot vote. Eh? They cannot vote for strike, law out, dissolution of the trade union or amendment of the uh, union. Okay, so there's some distinction on the members also. Okay, and... Another um, restriction is that... Eh? No person shall join or be member or be accepted or retained as a member, okay, by any trade union if they are not employed no, or engaged in any establishment, trade, occupation, industry in respect which the trade union is registered. That means it simply means that no, 
Okay, you must be a member in the organization or in establishment or occupation or industry where you are employed. Okay, if you are a teacher, you must join the trade union of a teacher. If you are a doctor, you must join the trade union of a doctor. Or maybe uh, you are a nurse, you must join the trade union of uh, nurses. Okay, so uh, that's the restriction. Eh? Okay. There's no point in eh, joining the other trade union eh, because you cannot fight for your right. Okay, this is where the, uh, I'm actually, I was amending and then I forget to put it at the correct place. Eh, okay. Here, the public officer here are not allowed to be um, a member that I mentioned earlier in section 27 now. Okay, but Yang Di Pertuan Agong can give some exemption. Okay, but yet, yeah, okay, he cannot give exemption for those who are employed in this area. Okay, uh, police, prison, armed forces, security, okay, confidential or security, okay, or where they are prohibited under the law. Okay, so... Can you get um, the idea that I already mentioned here? Can you all understand? Yes, madam. Okay, so for session 27, eh, you have to, like, uh, I'm not sure about your slide eh, because uh, sometimes I prepare different slides. Eh? Okay, you have to put at the correct place. If it is uh, yours is PDF, then maybe I can uh, put it and amend it eh, and uh, put it. Uh, back, eh? that means uh, I will upload later, okay okay so for the executive member there's uh, some uh, restriction also, okay, under section 28, you must be a Malaysian citizen, uh, you must be over 21, even though you can be member at the age of 16 eh? okay, uh, then to be uh, to vote also, there's some restriction to be an executive member, you must not be a bankrupt you must be employed um, for at least one year. That means if you recently joined uh, any particular company, you cannot suddenly be appointed as an executive. You must work at because you want you must have the knowledge, yeah, okay, how to deal because you are going to be an executive, okay. So you must know how to deal with your employer, okay. So you must know who is the employer, okay, so that you can argue um, for the. Uh, argue and also fight for the right of your um, colleague. Yeah? Okay? And then you must not be a member of any political party. Okay? So there's some restriction on that. Yeah? For the, okay? Okay, now the rights and liability of the trade union. Okay? So, you know, the trade union must be registered. Yeah? So it is like, uh, it's like a uh, a company, yeah, okay, but since this is a trade union, it is uh, under the Trade Union Act. Yeah? You know, company, they are registered under the uh, Companies Act. Yeah? Okay, so we got provision section 20 to 24 uh, discussing about the rights and liabilities of the trade union. That means that what the, uh, what the trade union can do, okay, what happened if something goes wrong yeah, with the trade union, okay, that's the liability, okay. So the rights, here is like protection from the civil suit. Civil means uh, um, if there's any contract, you breach the contract. So it's uh, considered as a civil suit. Ne? Okay, then the liability in tort. Tort means you go, if you're going to um, do any injury or defamation. So it's under a different law. So if you, got, uh, you want to know further, of course, you have to do some research. Eh? You don't just... Uh, uh, depend on the slides. Huh? So, what is the meaning of thought? You can just Google. Huh? Okay, I know uh, the female students like to Google for their doodles or maybe for their uh, new handphone. Okay, why not just Google what is meant by thought? What meant by contract? What is civil suit? Huh? You can just Google and to know more. Okay, because you always have your a uh, handphone huh? um, website. Huh? Okay. Then um, the proceeding by and against the trade union. Okay, so we will look at these uh, sections now.
Okay, so the trade union, according to Section 20, uh, trade union shall not enjoy, okay, any rights, okay, um, immunities, privileges, okay, of a registered trade union, okay, unless it is registered. That means the trade union will enjoy all the immunities, privileges, if they are registered. Okay, so you have to read two times uh, the, the section, uh, okay, because it is stated in a negative form, uh, Okay, shall not enjoy. That means they can enjoy if they are registered. Okay, so they have all the rights, the immunities and privileges. Okay, uh, provided they are registered. So they must be registered according to the Trade Union Act eh, that been mentioned earlier, the procedures there. Okay. Then Section 21. Section 21 says that no suit or other legal proceeding. That means you cannot sue eh, in simple word, eh? okay? Um, or you take any action, okay? In a civil court, okay? That means um, like Malaysia, we have magistrate court, session court, high court, okay? We got um, what do you call um, court of appeal? We got federal court. Okay, so those are the courts in Malaysia. Okay, but you cannot go to the uh, federal court straight away eh? because you must file at the lower court first. Then only the matter will be appealed to the higher court. Eh? Okay, so if you got any civil action against any registered trade union or officer, okay, so you can, eh? okay, you can um, uh, take action. Eh? Okay. Um, here, okay, um, it must be in furtherance, uh, okay, uh, the, the restriction is that it must be in act, uh, okay, um, in contemplation or in furtherance of a trade dispute, okay. So, um, the here, the condition is that, uh, okay, uh, you cannot actually, uh, okay, um, uh, simply take action in a, uh, uh, against a trade union, okay? Unless you got some reason why you want to take action against the um, any uh, registered union, trade union, and also um, the officer. Officer means the president, the executive members, or any other members of a trade union, okay? If they are going to do something according to the law, in uh, in protecting the uh, trade union, eh? that means in case of trade dispute, you cannot take action. But if it is otherwise, you can take action against the trade union. Okay, so this, this means that this section protects the trade union. Okay, you cannot simply take a, um, a suit eh? or any other legal proceedings if it is done according to the um, Trade, I mean, in furtherance of a trade uh, dispute or industrial relation act or trade union act. Okay. So, any questions so far? No questions. Okay. So, section twenty two is where okay, um, a suit against a registered trade union or any other member or officer. Okay. Um, it's uh, about the same with the previous session, but now you are going to look at the tortious, that means the tort, no? what is tort? The tortious act means that you do defamation or maybe you uh, do some, um, uh, what do you call, assault. No? Okay, you assault, that means you cause injury to the person or you have beaten the person. Okay, so um, here, um, it is stated that a suit eh, against a particular officer or member, okay, uh, shall not be uh, uh, attained. Eh? That means you cannot also take action for any uh, case of defamation, okay, or maybe um, assault or any other tortious act, eh? okay. Okay, um, okay, can you um, um, give any reason why, um, let's say, um, uh, okay, Peter, okay, Peter is the president of a trade union, okay, so while uh, strike, okay, while strike, 
okay, I mean, or during strike, okay, uh, he mentioned something which is, um, what do you call, um, some words, uh, okay, uh, regarding his company, saying that the company uh, fails to pay salary, there's no increment, there's uh, no bonus, okay? So, uh, can the company take action against Peter? Uh, Madam, can you repeat again? Okay, let's say during strike, you know strike, that means bogok. okay, strike, eh? during strike, okay, Peter is the uh, member, member of the um, trade union in, in his company, Okay, he um, brings some um, ba uh, banners, maybe, okay, banners, which have some words saying that the company failed to pay um, uh, wages, um, maybe overtime or maybe bonus. Okay, so uh, can the company take action against Peter now? Uh, I don't think they can because the strike is legal, right? Yeah, the strike is legal, but the company want to take action for tortious act. Tortious means like the word, no? A tortious here, uh, for tortious uh, here, it will be defamation. You know, fitna, defamation, okay? A defamation is that when it's written something uh, on a piece of paper um, which is untrue about the company, okay? Uh, so, can the company sue? Uh, Peter for the tortious act? I think the company can sue it because it's not because they spread the wrong information about the company. Mm -hmm. Okay, but here um, it's considered, eh? here it's considered that the tortious act, eh? okay, um, um, by Peter is actually um, he's protected eh? because he's doing um, something that a trade union would be doing, okay? So, the trade union has the right, okay, has privileges, privileges, okay? So, the company um, cannot actually sue because the session here says that shall not be entertained, okay? Shall not be entertained, okay? Okay, okay uh, understood, madam. Uh, okay, so what you meant is that uh, you you are saying that maybe the words is untrue, okay? Uh, if the word is untrue, then the court will decide uh, whether it's actually uh, defamation or not, okay? So defamation must be something that you have said something untrue, okay? So um, the court will decide. But here, this section says that the, the, the company cannot sue the member or the officer of the trade union in respect of a tortious act. Okay? Then we got liability in contract. Okay, section 23. Yeah? Every registered trade union shall be liable uh, on any contract uh, entered into by it or by any agent acting uh, on its behalf. Uh. So contract, you know what? What is contract? Any agreement eh, between the um, registered trade union to do something. Maybe the trade union uh, wants to buy a piece of land. Okay, so the trade union is liable, eh, shall be liable for the contract. Okay, if you make an agreement to buy the piece of land, you are liable. That means you must go on with the contract. Eh? Okay, so the, the trade union cannot say that, oh, since we are trade union, we want to cancel the contract, cannot, because you are liable uh, to the contract. That means you must go on with the contract and you must pay for the price of the uh, land or maybe you bought some um, buses or maybe you buy car for the use of the executive, you are liable. Okay, you that means you must um, be uh, liable to pay for the payment, eh? okay, or any uh, contract that you have made. Unless the contract that you make is actually void in Malaysia. It is not a legal contract, okay? So, um, the, the trade union, eh? okay, shall be liable for the contract, okay? 
So can you understand section 23 now? I think okay. so. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. Libel means that you must go on with the contract and you must proceed. Eh? So whatever um, uh, stated in the agreement, you have to uh, comply or you must obey. Okay. So if the, the trade union, you can see like bank, bank, eh? bank, a trade union of bank employees, eh? they got their own building, they got own uh, cars, they got own, uh, what do you call, um, uh, other acumens, eh? okay, uh, owned by the trade union. Okay, the trade union is actually can enter contract and purchase whatever they want, but they must pay for the um, contract or the the, the things that they wanted to buy, actually. Okay. Okay, then section 25. Huh? Section 25 is regarding um, the registered trade union. Huh? Okay, uh, all is regarding actually um, the registered trade union. Okay. The yes. Also be sued, okay. Um, and prosecuted uh, um, under its name. Okay, let's say the previous session, you know, uh, the trade union actually entered into a contract to buy two buses for the workmen uh, so that the uh, members uh, of the trade union can use um, for the, um, uh, I mean, to travel, uh, okay, to travel um, or to provide um, transport for the workers. Okay, so here, let's say the trade union fail to pay, fail to pay for the contract. So the trade union, you know, can be sued for the contract. So how are you going to sue the trade union? So you must use the name, the registered name of the trade union. Okay. So if the trade union, let's say, uh, just um, make the contract eh, after two weeks of its establishment, uh, they are not registered because you are given one month to register. Ne? Okay, one month to register. So if it's unregistered trade union, then you can sue the trade union uh, by the name which it has been operating or generally known. Okay, so uh, because under the law, you must uh, sue the correct person. Ne? If you're going to sue wrong person, uh, um, your case cannot go on. Eh? It will be struck off by the court. Okay, so, so far, any question? Can I understand, madam? Yes, understood. Eh? Okay, so every trade union must have their constitution. Okay, constitution means uh, what are the rules of the trade union? Okay, so what are the procedure? What are the rules? Eh? What are the rules for the member, for the executive, for the secretary? You must have your own constitution. Eh? Okay, like we have our nation constitution. So your constitution is un, is stated under section 38 and there's one um, example of the constitution in the first schedule of the Trade Union Act. So you uh, can refer to the first schedule, okay, to know how a constitution of a trade union looks like. It's very simple one, eh? Okay, is that just like basic? Okay, then uh, fun. You know, every trade union have to collect um, subscription fees from the member. If not, how they're going to survive? Who is going to pay for the executive? Huh? How they're going to buy building? How they're going to buy car? Or how they're going to pay for the rental of the building? Okay, so. They will collect the money, eh? actually, is a fees eh? um, from the members, okay? If you got more members, you got more money, okay? So, um, Section 50 to 57 is regarding the management of the fund of the union, okay? So, you can use the fund, okay? Let me see whether I put it in detail or not. It's very short here, okay? So you can use the fund to pay salaries or the expenses of the office, okay? Or maybe if there's any uh, case against the company, yeah, 
you can uh, sorry against the trade union you can also use for the prosecution or defense of any legal proceeding or if there's any dispute you can also use the money or to pay compensation okay so the money is very useful and there's the fees for the subscription fees every month from the employee yeah? so i'm not sure what the rate eh? maybe it's like seven ringgit or depends on the trade union eh? okay uh, per month for every member okay but you cannot use the money eh? under section 51 prohibition of the payment for fine fine means you only can be fined if you do not follow the procedure under the law okay so you cannot pay the money for to pay fine okay that means you pay, pay fine at the court or maybe at the government department eh? okay and then you also prohibited eh, under section 52 to use the money or the fund for polit political objects or political object you cannot use the money eh, for any political reason okay then if the money being used for any reason which is not allowed under the law, okay, or we can say that if there's any misuse of the money, okay, the trade union under Section 53 can take injunction. Injunction is to stop the trade union from misusing the fund or the money, okay? Then Section 54 is how you're going to do preservation of the money, and 55 is the duty to render accounts. That means every year you must prepare a statement of account, okay, that where they will have the annual meeting eh, for the trade union to show what are your expenses, okay, what are your income for the trade union, okay. So, any question? Are you all listening? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Okay. Then, this is something that extra, I just want to, you all know that in Malaysia, we have a three categories of trade union. There's a public sector, private sector, and employers union also. The employer also have their own union. Not every employer are very strong in Malaysia, okay? They have to have their own union, okay? So, public sector union, private sector union, and also... Uh, employers union okay and there's some um in civil public sector that means in private sector i know it's all about the company and organization it's a public sector okay we have from the civil service statutory bodies and local authority yeah? and the largest um this is uh, um according to uh, I'm not sure what is statistic, eh? is the Teachers Association, okay? National Union of Teaching Profession is the largest, okay? And at some stage, the Nurses Union was also the largest in Malaysia, okay? And this is for the public sector. And, you know, we have also QPEX, okay? Uh, those who are working in public service, they know what is QPEX. Eh? So, QPEX is a federation of trade union, of all the government workers or government employees. Eh? So the cube, if you got anything to do with the uh, improvement of the um, terms and conditions for government workers, CUPEX is the one who will be the spokesman who will be um, um, giving uh, what got information to the government. Okay. And Maybe you have heard about MTUC, okay? So MTUC is not a trade union, but a society, okay? It's society, sorry, society registered with the Register of Society, okay? Registrar of Society, okay? So this is something that uh, plays a controversial role in industrial relation in Malaysia, okay? So it will have members, uh, Okay, which is mostly for the private sector. Okay, and we've got also the trade union in private sector. 
um, sometimes is uh, national, sometimes it is in house. Eh? National that means um, the companies will um, will have the same. Okay, um, only one, eh? one national one. Okay, all the employee in the same industry will join the particular national um, union. If it is in house, that means it will go according to each of the company. Okay, each of the company will have uh, their own um, trade union. That means it will be having small group or small number of employees. Okay. And uh, the Malaysian Employers Federation, MEF. Okay, MEF has representative of uh, of a number of council and bodies. Eh? Okay, so MEF is that they get um, what you call all the information, and also sometimes they have the meetings eh, with um, other um, bodies, eh, so that they will come up with um, certain. Um, terms and condition, or maybe new ideas how to improve the industrial relation in Malaysia. Okay, so MEF also a society is not a trade union. Okay, so the members is like from companies and also employers association. Okay, so we are coming to the end of the class. Do you have any question now regarding trade union? Any question? Students, Arisa says there's no question. No, madam. No. No, there's no questions, madam. Okay, so for trade union, okay, um, uh, I don't give any case here, okay? So you can uh, search for the cases uh, because you are given assignment. Uh, I hope that you can search case uh, on um, trade union eh, yourself eh, because you want you all to do some work. It's not that like giving you um, um, question that based hundred percent from our notes. Eh, okay, so if the case, uh, if the question asks you case, you have to look for the uh, case yourself. Eh, okay, because we already taught you how to look for the case. Eh? Okay, so we'll stop here for a while and then uh, I will continue with. The next uh, lecture. Okay.
Okay, students. Um, I have some problem regarding my next uh, uh, topic. Uh, There's collective um, bargaining and agreement. Hello, students. Yes, madam. Um, yes, madam. Yeah, I got some problem to open my um, the other uh, topic. Uh, um, collective bargaining and also collective agreement. Uh. I think I will continue the class um, next, uh, this coming Thursday uh, because I cannot open the um, PowerPoint. Uh. Okay, I'm not sure why. Okay, so do you have any question that you want to ask me? Uh, Madam, just for the assignment, right? Uh, no, any question that you want to ask? Sometimes for the question, we found an issues, right? But uh -huh. the problem is there's no case that can be referred for this. So it's so I wonder if that, that issue can be written or not because we cannot find any cases. Okay, so if you find you cannot find any case, um, um, do you search for the case uh, from the library website? Uh, yes, I searched for it and I couldn't find anything that's similar to it. Um, for the um, assignment one? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Sometimes you, you cannot find a case that is hundred uh, percent according to the um facts of the um question, but you can also use case which is related to the question. Uh the problem is I couldn't even find anything related at all because there's no such case, I believe. Uh on what matter is it? Uh for the mind? suspension uh -huh. suspension period. Oh, I see. Of course, uh, it is sometimes discussed in the facts of the question. The uh, f sorry, facts of the case which has been brought to the court. Uh, we we don't have any uh, case that uh, mention about the suspension of the um, wages. We don't have actually. Okay, but um, that's under the session. Okay, that's under the session which says that the what the employer supposed to do. Okay, if uh, the situation is where he want to do investigation, so that's the procedure. Lah. What he can do, he can suspend. That means suspend for how long is it? Okay, uh, so um, if there's no case, then you have to give provision. And if you are afraid that it's not the correct answer, you can give a case that um, mentioned about section 14, okay? Um, which mentioned uh, what the employer is supposed to do, okay? Um, if you want to do investigation. So it will be in the judgment or somewhere inside the judgment. That's why sometimes you have to read uh, carefully the case. You cannot take from the facts and also the heart of the case. Okay? It will be in the judgment. That means in the content. That bad way just we saw that day. Eh? Okay? So it's somewhere in the content. Okay? In lieu of notice. It's all in the contents of the judgment. So try to type the word like search word. Eh? Okay? Section 14 or maybe um, suspension of wages for two weeks. Okay? Then you will get the keys. Okay, if there's any case, nah. mm -hmm. okay, madam. Okay. Mm, so you have to do some work also. So you will see how how good is your answer. Huh? Okay, it, it, it is not that your answer must be very long. I don't want a very long, long paragraph. Huh? I think yeah, there's one group who send me very long a paragraph. I don't want long paragraph. Huh? Okay, you must have the case, you must have the section. Okay, you must have the application. Okay, um. If possible, um, um, when's the deadline? Eh? Okay, end of the month is it next week? No, oh, no, no, first week of um, January is it? Seven January is it? Is it when's the deadline? Eh? Uh, assignment one is 21st next week. Oh, next week, okay. Uh, if possible, okay, make it. Uh, like if it's a problematic question, okay, you you have the table, uh, like um issue one box, okay, and then application one box, and then uh what do you call conclusion one box, a and at the side there you put one column so that I can uh put my marks there, okay, so it'll be like 
one standard, it will be very um, easy for me to, because your answer should attract the examiner. Okay, the examiner is the one who will be uh, marking the question. So if it's the case, you put in bold. If the section, you put in bold. So uh, like if it is a real exam also, I will ask them to highlight the case and also by using pen, okay, um, uh, for the section and also for the case, okay. So since you are doing everything online and soft, copy yeah, will be sent eh? so you can bold the session and also the case okay and then you can bold the word uh, issues um, session case and then uh, application conclusion you just bold that eh? so that it'll be easier for me to do marking you know that um, I forgot to remind you for the mid exam eh? because it'll be easier for me to do the marking because uh, got uh, I got also another group eh, to do, so I hope that assignment, eh, okay, even though just one group will be one assignment, okay, so make sure that you, you what do you call, you can um, do that, eh, okay, it will be easier for, for me to do the marking, okay. And make sure that you do not copy, eh, copy each other or copy and copy paste from uh, lecturer notes or textbook or anywhere else. Eh? You, you have, that's why we are giving problematic questions. Okay. Okay, so do it as fast as possible. Eh, okay. Because uh, after that, you can just take a break or you can focus on the other subject and then I will be giving you Assignment number three. Assignment number three is only one week. You got four questions, it's one week because it's for the final exam, eh, the 40%. Eh? Okay, so you got one week to, to prepare and submit to me. Okay. Okay, students, are you all listening? Because sometimes okay, I mentioned there are students be asking me, yeah, okay, uh, which topic is for the mid exam suddenly, yeah, one day before that, okay. So make sure that you know that for the assignment three, there will be four questions. You got only one week to uh, do the question, uh, um, prepare the question, and the, uh, I mean, the um, prepare means to answer the question and uh, upload in the portal, okay. So if we don't have any question, then I will stop here. It's uh, three thirty-two already. Yeah? Okay. Okay, students. Any question? No, madam. No, madam. No, madam. Please check uh, attendance once again. Okay. I'll see whether it can appear or not because oh. I was searching something else then now for your collective agreement notes, sir. Huh? Mm -hmm. I have to do it again because my portal cannot be open right now because I'm using Webex. Eh? My notes in the portal, I cannot open it now. Okay, so I will do it manually. Okay, you just uh, send to me. Eh? But I saw few of you already.